All right, week seven NFL. Uh, Cowboys are off this week, and thank God. Uh, God what an annoying win. Uh, yeah, I mean, you hate to complain about a win. Not really complaining, but like, geez, that, what, what a ridiculous outpouring of effort, uh, you know, unnecessarily in some spots just, just to get a W. But, um, you know, they, they got the week off. They're looking good. But I tell you what, the, this, the stuff with McCarthy is just – it's it, – his decision making is is not going to help us win in the playoffs. Everything else is clicking on all cylinders. The offense is dominating. Trayvon Diggs is the best player in football right now. Um, but again, and listen, I don't I don't mind the boldness. I don't I don't I don't I don't care about bold decisions. I, I, when they went fourth and short, um, you know, on their own 30, 35 yard line early in the game, didn't get it. I didn't care about that. Um, what I care about is execution play calling in those situations. Uh, but then, you know, then late in the game, you know, they're down one, and they're, I don't know, they're on a 35-yard line, somewhere around there, and they're fourth and one again. I mean, they got to stop running third down plays that, that get them a half-yard short, but that's another issue. You, you, you know, you, 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 you trot out the field goal. Like, there's still two and a half minutes left in the game. And, and if you make this, you know, which is obviously not a, uh, an automatic kick by any stretch. And by the way, th- there's no more automatic kicks anymore. Now, outside of Justin Tucker, any kicker can miss any kick from any distance uh, in any uh, uh, environment. It, it doesn't matter. You, you can't bank on guys making the kick. Uh, you, you just can't. I, I don't care who it is, where it is, uh, whatever. But in any event, the Cowboys down one, fourth and one, 30, 35 yard line, somewhere around there, two and a half minutes left. And and, and that, that now he's going to kick it. There's not a lot of upside there. Uh, obviously, if you miss it, that's that's no good. But even if you make it, you're up two with two and a half minutes of play. Give me the team ball back. Whereas if you go for it in that spot there, now you have a first down. Now you can take the clock down and make you kick. And then if you, you make it, you win. You know you don't. But whatever. But like, why are you giving the other team another shot when you don't have to? And, that, and that's. A lot of the decisions McCarthy's making this year is giving teams the extra possession late in the game, late in the half, when he doesn't have to. You don't have to give him the ball back. So that I need 15 minutes with him to clean clean this shit up. But anyway, they missed it there, and then you know Diggs bailed him out with an interception return. Then of course, then he got burned, but then they they, they tied it anyway. But whatever, Cowboys won. They're off this week. Let's get to week seven. Uh, Denver's at Cleveland. Uh, t- uh, Thursday night, the um, I-, I-, I think Bridgewater is going to play. Mayfield is not going to play. Um, I-, I don't know. I-, I I still think the Browns win this game, though. Um, I-, I don't. You know, I know they looked bad last week, but I-, I just think that Cleveland's too good of a team to not pull this out. But I mean, I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know how I could. How, how am I picking Case Keenum against? Uh, Denver's defense. That, that, that seems ridiculous, but yeah, I, I'll take Denver here. Yeah, Den- Den- Denver will win this game, but this, this game's gonna be this game's gonna be garbage. Um, and then you get Sunday uh, early afternoon. Uh, Washington's at Green Bay. Washington is terrible. Uh, Green Bay's good. I'll take Green Bay. Kansas City's at Tennessee. Um, the Chiefs. You, you know, again. You know, they, they get a win last week, but, you know, they didn't look good again for a half. And then finally they kind of strung it together. But uh, th- this is a dangerous game here again. Again, I, I I can't imagine Tennessee beating Buffalo and Kansas City back-to-back. I know they're getting this game at home here. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to grudgingly take the Chiefs here because they they, they got to put in a, a, a solid 60 minutes at some point. You, you against a good team against like Tennessee. And listen, Tennessee's kind of sloppy, too. I, I mean, you know, without Derrick Henry, they'd be in a lot of trouble this year. Um, but anyway, th- this would be a good game. Hopefully we get a, a shootout like we got Monday night. Um, but I'll take the Chiefs, but, you know, that's anybody's guess. 
Uh, Atlanta's at Miami. Um, Atlanta coming off the bye because uh, they played in London two weeks ago. Miami, for some reason, does not have a bye uh, this week, even though they did play in London last week. So I don't know what that, what happened there. But um, I'll take Atlanta here uh, just because they got the rest, and, and I think they're, they're just more consistent offensively. You know, Miami's just, Miami's just kind of sloppy. Um, but we, we knew that. I'll take Atlanta. Uh, Jets are at New England. Um, you know, again, New England coming off a tough loss. Uh, hadn't lost to the Cowboys at home since 1987. Uh, they lost that one in overtime also. Herschel Walker, 60-yard run. Um, but, you know, now they get the Jets this week. Um, you know, the garbage game. Uh, the Jets, I mean, they, 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 they looked okay second half against Atlanta and London, but I, you know, the Jets are not going to win this game. You, you know that. They know that. Everybody knows that. I'll take New England. Uh, Carolina is at the Giants. Uh, Giants, uh, you know, banged up again. I mean, they do get Sterling Shepard back, and they got no Barkley. They got no Galladay. They got no other talent, really. You know, offensive line is not good. And Carolina needs a bounce back. Um, so I'll take Carolina. Uh, Cincinnati's at Baltimore. Um, the Ravens, man, yeah, geez, they destroyed the Chargers last week. I, I mean, talk about a. Um, you know, a, a, a game that was that did not live up to expectations. I don't know what the hell happened. I didn't watch a lot of that game, um, uh, but so I'm, I'm not sure what what happened with the Chargers. They have a ball and took care of business. Uh, they had you know all of their uh, fantasy uh, all star running backs from 2017 scoring touchdowns. Um, you know, and and listen, Baltimore is playing uh, playing well right now. Um, they can they can score points. Defense is not awful. And Cincinnati hang with him in this game, I think. You know, because Cincinnati's got, you know, listen, Cincinnati's 4-2. I mean, this is a big game. Um, you know, but, and, I mean, if they would have come out of here with a win, I mean, you know, geez, look out. But uh, I think I think Baltimore wins this one. Uh, but it should be a good ball game. All right, late afternoon Sunday, Phillies at Las Vegas. Uh, Raiders got a, a, a nice win in Denver last week, you know, after moving on from, from what's-his-face. Um, you know, again, Philly... Again, they're, they're going to be competitive uh, on and off. Um, th- this should be a good game, I think. I'll take the Raiders to win. Um, you know, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if Philly puts up a game here because the Raiders are sloppy enough to, to lose lose a game like this. Uh, but I'll take Las Vegas. Uh, Detroit's at the Rams. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> you know the Jared Goff, Matt Stafford revenge game, whatever you want to call it here. I mean, two guys were traded for each other, but... The Lions are terrible, so is Jared Goff. Matt Stafford is good, so are the Rams. And they're at home, blah, blah, blah. Take the Rams. Uh, Houston's at Arizona. I mean, you know, everybody need to be banging Arizona on um, on survivor pools this week. And, and if you got Arizona defense, congratulations, because uh, Houston ain't going to do shit here. Um, I'll take Arizona. Uh, wow, a lot of easy games this week. Jeez, uh, Chicago at Tampa Bay. I mean, again, what, what is there to talk about here? I mean, it's the Tampa Bay is Tampa Bay. Chicago, you know, is feisty, but they're not winning this game. And again, everybody knows this. So, you know, what are we doing here? I'll take Tampa Bay. Uh, Sunday night, you get Indianapolis at San Francisco. And this, is, this is a good ball game. Um, you got two teams here. Uh, let's see, the Colts is still hanging around. I mean, they're two and four, but. Um, you know they have a chance to, you know, especially if, if if Tennessee can slip up, they can, um, you know, maybe you know challenge for the division. I mean they they've, they've got enough weapons on offense where uh, they they should stay competitive. Forty nine is coming off by. Um, I don't know who's starting this week, Lance or Garoppolo. I really don't care because uh, Forty Nine is going to do what Forty Nine is do. But uh, Forty Nine is need this game more because uh, they're I mean they're not winning the division. Uh, but if they can win this game, you know they're they're they stay in contention for wild card. Um, this would be a good ball game. Ho- hopefully, San Francisco can can hold up their end of the bargain here and um, you know make this a, a competitive game and, and get your fancy guys points. I'll take the 49ers here, but this would be a good game. Uh, then Monday night you get New Orleans is at Seattle. Um, you know Seattle hasn't looked bad with Geno Smith. Uh, I know first half in you know, Pittsburgh last last week they did, but but uh, but then they, you know then they kind of got it going, but. You know, they, they can't be wasting a half of football to, to, to figure it out here. Um, you know, I mean, he, Geno Smith is serviceable. 
Uh, but the Saints, uh, you know, again, and they, they got Winston, and they're going into Seattle. So, I mean, you never know uh, how Winston's going to uh, play in, in that kind of environment in a primetime game. That's really the only thing that Seattle could possibly have going for them at this point. But otherwise, New Orleans is better. I'll take the Saints. But, again, just let, let's get let's get the guys' fantasy points. Uh, and that's it. Uh, you got six teams on by this week. So, uh, you know, congratulations if uh, you got your fantasy lineup set. Um, you know, we got to take a week off. I don't have to worry about the, the Cowboys, the most aggravating 5-1 and one team probably in NFL history. I mean, it's still looking good, but, man, McCarthy got to clean that stuff up. Uh, but there it is, uh, Week 7 NFL.